Hello everyone, today I want to share another book with you from Bridgerton series, uh, written by Julia Quinn, and this is Francesca's story, uh, When He Was Wicked. Uh, so this one might be one of my favorite Bridgerton series books because, I don't know, it was slowly developing a romance between Francesca and her husband's cousin. Uh, actually, what happened? So. Michael was uh, considered a rog and uh, he was uh, madly in love with Francesca but he unfortunately met her at the moment of her engagement to his cousin whom he loved and uh, he could do actually nothing. So um, they, Michael and Francesca became friends, he was entertaining her by telling her uh, his roguish stories, etc. Uh, but uh, at some moment, uh, let's say a few years after the marriage, Francesca's husband died uh, suddenly, unexpectedly, and that was uh, really devastated both of them. Um, so now Michael inherited all the uh, um, property and estate and uh, Francesca uh, was carrying the child but uh, soon after she miscarried. Uh, so there were no heirs and the Michael inherited everything but anyways he couldn't bear to uh, be there uh, and see her every day in sorrow and he was also devastated so he decided to go to uh, India. Um, he was there for a few years um, doing whatever research, travel, whatever he wanted. Meanwhile, Francesca was mourning and she couldn't actually explain why Michael go went away, uh, why she had to suffer all along because she did not know about his feelings. Anyways, um, after those years, she decided to, uh, let's say, get married uh, and have children. Uh, but she does not want to have love match in that marriage. She just wants someone to give her the child that she uh, desperately wants. And uh, in that time that she decides to go into um, marriage mart uh, in London, um, actually Michael returns and um, now uh, he, I don't know how exactly, but he wanted to, let's say, propose to her and, let's say, steal her from all of that madness uh, that other guys could actually, again, snatch it from him. And actually, Colin Bridgerton, Francesca's brother, played a really big role into, let's say, nudging Michael to actually seduce Francesca. And that's how it all started. So then, from then on, romance begins. And um, it was actually, in my opinion, the most, let's say, exciting romance uh, described from all of these Bridgerton other series books. But um, anyways, um, Francesca is now uh, not uh, processing what's actually happening. She's falling in love with Michael, but she doesn't want to admit it. Not to him, not to himself. He's, she's feeling he's betraying uh, her that husband. She actually, like almost swore to not have a love match anytime soon and um, that she already had love match with the first husband and now she's just like uh, why am I feeling those feelings and uh, am I a bad person, am I betraying you and things like that. So uh, anyways after she bypassed those uh, feelings and thoughts about uh, actually cheating cheating someone who's dead, uh, then at the end, of course, it's going to be happy ending. But, you know, um, a lot of people commented that this book was uh, boring. And I will say that, yes, maybe first part of the book is boring, but I don't know how the story will de develop if uh, it wasn't written just like that. So uh, you need to endure the first part of the book and wait patiently for romance to develop. So it's not going to be from the first page of the book, um, but it was worth waiting. Uh, as I mentioned before, this might be one of my favorite Bridgerton series book and I hope you will enjoy it and tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite Bridgerton book and I'll see you in the next video of the next um, book review. Until then, bye!